Yeah, so uh FIL Sports Debate, thank you for joining the channel. Uh I can't say zero percent chance. Put your money where your trade. mouth is, FYI. Put your money where your mouth is. Woo! Put let's your money bet, where your mouth is. Let's bet two hundred dollars that Lonzo Ball's traded. FYF always comes in with fireballs. Yep, yeah, and, I, and I, I'm I'm riding with DJ, so I double that. Oh man! Now that's not just a two hundred for me. That's if, that's that's four hundred. That's four hundred. Okay, so I was wrong on that. Is it was not. 600 it was actually 400 so it was 200 from revolution radio 200 from dj all right i'll make sure i'll be sending both of you brothers my cash out um and if you need a reminder i can also provide you a snippet of this video uh, obviously i mean if you're watching it now you you'll see a snippet of it but uh, you know obviously this is a very good reminder of the bet that we made And, and so I, I have a I have a video clip right here as we end this video because again I don't want to I don't want to get off on a tangent too long but you know this was a this was a big moment right here because you guys know me I I like to go to other channels I like to talk basketball y'all know the name of the channel FYF debates if I see a controversial video title if I see something I definitely don't agree with I'm gonna jump in there I'm gonna chime in and I'm gonna tell you why I don't agree you know this is what that's what we do here at FYF sports man it's when it's when it comes time to ether people we have to go ether people and we don't just talk shit about people we're not out here name calling we're not out here talking about your mama we're not trying to give you the ticket to be treatment but what we doing is we breaking down the science of the game we breaking down the science of at least what we know the business of basketball what teams need what team what what the other teams need how can these trades work if, if, if you want to make something happen and how do both teams benefit all right you got to check off all of those boxes before we start saying trade oh he definitely wants to do this fact like you can have an opinion about it but don't say it as a matter of fact and not expect somebody like us here at fyf sports man to come ether you on it so i have a situation right here um back in early january and you guys may know this channel right here back in early january i went on to this channel you, you know obviously i just I, and i just go on this channel casually again i go into these channels primarily because i just like listening to basketball talk and and i wasn't even on the live panel i just was in the chat just voicing my opinions in the chat and the next thing i know as i'm typing something in my comment goes up on the screen and i get criticized for this comment so basically you guys can see my comment on the screen right here. I'll zoom on in on it as well. Um, they were talking about you. Obviously, you can see the title of the video at the top of the screen. It says Lonzo Ball may get traded. And I said in the chat, zero percent chance Lonzo is traded. This is back in January with no ex with, with no signed extension. He's not going to get traded. That, that's basically what I said. So he put my comment on the screen. Now, I want you to hear the reaction. Now, we know that DJ Raw Uncut Truce. His channel is a, um, a ball family channel. Uh, I mean, they're big. They're big fans of, of all of the ball brothers. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I, I was just you know, and my comments were not in any disrespect to Lonzo Ball. My comments were by Lonzo Ball not signing the extension. He controls his destiny. By him not signing the extension, he knows that it's the likelihood that the team can try to control his destiny and trade him are extremely low. This is one of the reasons why Lonzo Ball didn't sign that extension. It's the same thing with Victor Oladipo in Houston. The Houston Rockets offered Victor Oladipo an extension that he refused to sign. He didn't sign it because he knew once he signed that contract, Houston could trade him anywhere he wanted and he couldn't control his destiny. It's the same situation here in New Orleans where Lonzo Ball knew if I play up to the level that I know I can, this team won't be able to trade me because I will far exceed my value. It'll be impossible to trade me. On top of the fact that I can go into the off season and I can most definitely get max offers from multiple teams and I can kind of hand pick which teams I want to go to. All right, so what I'm going to do is I, I just want you guys to hear the conversation. 
because again, I go into these conversations not necessarily to be argumentative. I simply go into these conversations because I want to bring a, a unique perspective. You guys hear me say that always. I don't want to always come in with the same talking points that everybody else does. I don't want to always just come in and because somebody makes a statement on Twitter that's not very factual, or you may see something over here on some media site or blog that's not very credible or factual. And then people just, you know, and you know, you guys know how the media runs with the wind like a lot of things. And the next thing you know, everyone's saying Lonzo Ball's getting traded. You know, and, and and there were so many different reasons why people were saying Lonzo. There were people saying that Lonzo said he don't want to be there. Or La LaVar said Lonzo doesn't want to be there. Or Lonzo, they're not using him correctly on the court. Or, or Lonzo's not getting along with this player. I mean, there were so many different things coming from all other places. I, t I keep telling you guys, most NBA players look at and listen to a lot of the things that are said about them. And, and behind the scenes, they're cracking up just laughing because... As, as fans and as media, a lot of the times we believe some of the garbage that comes out. And, and once I really, when I heard that and I saw that directly from players, I said, this is one of the reasons why I have to always do my research purposes only because I don't really want to be putting out, you guys know I have my shock jock series. I don't want to be putting out shock jock information. You know, I don't want to be putting out reactionary information. You know, be, because I'm galvanized emotionally. Now I want to come out and say X, Y, and Z about a player without doing my research. Um, and I think this is kind of what happened in this particular situation. I think when you're so emotionally connected to a player, sometimes the research, the realism of the situation just goes out the door. And, the re and again, I've said back in January, the reality of Lorenzo Ball situation was that he won't get traded. That's the reality. That's the business of basketball. And, and, and that's just not with Lonzo Ball. Any rookie on the last year of their deal looking to get an extension is probably not going to get traded. Laurie Markman, last year of his rookie deal, didn't get traded. John Collins, last year of his rookie deal, name thrown in a lot of trade talks, didn't get traded. Lonzo Ball, last year of his rookie deal, coming up on an extension, didn't get traded. Like, it's, it's not rocket science to see the trends in some of these things all you have to do is just do research and some of these things will just come to you remember you got to stop being emotionally connected to these players so much but i want you guys i want to play this clip right here because there was an interesting wager that was thrown my direction again this is not something that i asked for this was a wager that was brought to me but just simply because i did my research and I stated an opinion based off the research that I conducted. Let's let's listen into this video real quick so you can guys can hear the wager that was thrown my way about Lonzo Ball when I was on DJ Raw's Uncurrent Truth's channel. Yeah, so uh FIL Sports Debate, thank you for joining the channel. Uh I can't say zero percent chance. Put your money where your trade. mouth is, FYI. Put your money where your mouth is. Woo! Put your money where your mouth is. Let's bet two hundred dollars that Lonzo Ball is traded. FYF always comes in with fireballs. Yep, yep, and, I, and I, I'm I'm riding with DJ, so I double that. Now, I'm just gonna pause it really quickly right there. Now, I don't think I came into this chat saying anything that galvanizing or alarming. Go crazy, AG. It. I just simply made a statement of fact based on the title of the video the title of the video is lonzo ball may get traded i simply came in and said zero percent chance lonzo was traded with no signed extension it's too hard to move him because he's going to be more valuable than what his contract actually is i just use the science of the game it, oh, it overall throughout the history of basketball rookies on the last year of their deal don't get traded now has it happened before yes but in the climate of today's NBA, does it generally happen? No, especially when teams are potentially making runs to maybe creep into the playoffs, especially in a year like this year where you can get into a play-in game and maybe luck up and find yourself at the A spot. On top of the fact that when you look at Lonzo and his cohesion with Zion and Brandon Ingram and him also having a career year, it only makes sense to keep him. 
Same with John Collins, same with Lori Markman, and the same with all of the other uh, rookies on the last year of their uh, uh, rookie deals looking to get signed uh, in the offseason as restricted free agents. But we're going to continue to play this right here. And I want you to get you guys here right here. DJ, or at least Rev, and I think Revolution Radio on his channel said he, he pro made a proposal to me. He bets that Lonzo Ball. He bet me $200. And he actually said double that. So with Rev, it was $400. With DJ, it was $200. They bet that Lonzo Ball wouldn't be traded. Now, I responded to this. Now, I would have put the chat up to show you my responses to this. I'm hoping that he shows it on the screen. But my response was, I put bet about 10 times in the chat. I wanted to lock that bet in because I knew it was easy money. All it takes is if you understand the business of basketball, you would have known months ago that Lonzo Ball was not going to get traded. It was just a great talking point in the media because people love to listen to news about the Ball brothers. But in reality, it was never something that was going to happen. Like I, I was I, I, this was months. This wasn't today. This was months ago that I made these, this statement. It wasn't very easy to foresee that Lonzo Ball was not going to get traded. Look, we're going to continue listening in on this on this video. I, I want you guys to hear this. Put oh your money where your mouth is. He getting traded. There's no way you keep him around with all this is going on around him. If you if Lonzo stays with the Pelicans. That's a failure on Rich Paul, which he is reputable. He has a <laughs> reputation. That's a failure on anyone around Lonzo. He cannot afford to stay with that team. He said it's a bet. It's a bet. It's up. It's up. I'll be sending you my cash app directly, kind right. sir. See, well, at least, you know, they, they didn't put it on the screen, but Revolution Radio confirmed that I confirmed the bet. And, you know, you know. DJ is respectable. Rev is respectable. I trust they were. So, the the fact that they lost this bet, I, I definitely expect I'll be I'll be sending these guys my cash app. Um, however, I can send them. Now, I don't know if I can send it to them on YouTube because I I don't know if it was one of them or if it was one of their mods. But I was blocked from their channel for some reason. I don't know if it was over this conversation right here, I, or, or I don't know if they actually went and did their research saw that I was going to be right and they wanted to duck and dodge me and then block me. I don't know. Somehow I'm blocked. But again, that's neither here nor there. My thing is the bet was made and the bet. I didn't even propose the bet. I I just simply wanted to come in and make a basic statement based on the history of basketball, based on the business of basketball and based on what I thought would happen. And as we saw today, out of all the trade talks, out of all the chatter, like literally everybody was on the edge of their seats today, refreshing their Twitter, look, you know, looking at social media, this, that, and the other. The one name we didn't see all day today, the one name that we didn't hear about all day today was Lonzo Ball. And I said this will happen yesterday in my live stream. I said the only two players that the Pelicans are looking to move are Eric Bledsoe, which his contract's hard to move, and JJ Redick, who if they don't trade him, They'll probably buy him out so he can go seek a, ch a championship elsewhere because we know he wants to be on a contending team. That's all I did. They proposed the bet. I accepted the bet. All right. And, and hey, and you know, March 25th is here. The deadline has passed. Lonzo Ball didn't get traded. In a best of bet, you know. Now, Rev, you said, Rev, I'll be sending you my cash out. DJ, I'll be sending you my cash out. Now, hopefully these guys pay, you know. Now, do do I expect I, every bet that I've made on YouTube, nobody's paid. Do I expect anybody to get paid? Do, do I expect to get paid myself? No. W would I have paid? Yeah, I would have definitely have paid if I would have lost. I, I, I wouldn't have taken the bet knowing that the, if there was any percentage that I could have lost this bet, I wouldn't have took it. If there was a, if if there was a ten percent chance that I could have lost this bet, I wouldn't have took it. I knew there was a z. Look, what? It, hold on, y'all. What did I say on the screen, y'all? I said there's a zero percent chance Lonzo is traded. I didn't say 
five. I didn't say seven percent. I didn't say fifteen percent. I literally said I did. I did. I didn't even just make a blanket statement. I didn't even say Lonzo wouldn't get traded. I said there's a zero percent chance Lonzo's traded. I left no room for error in there. This is what I knew. It it doesn't take rocket science to know these things. And again, you know, you know, when you have a channel based, you know, and I don't even want to say the channel's based on the Ball family. They just make a lot of videos about them. But again. I, I love I love Lazo Ball, Lamelo Ball, the Ball Brothers. I love everything that they're doing, Lavar Ball. But when it comes to the NBA basketball, there's a there's another tangent that comes into play. You have the politics, you have the business, and then you have your plan. Politics and the business are all going to come before your ability to play because I know a lot of talented players who are overseas right now because of politics and because of business of basketball. All right. When we look at Tyreek Evans, Tyreek Evans is no longer in the NBA. Do you guys really, you know, but that's because of politics, because of the business. I mean, there are a lot of talented guys that are no longer in the league that should be in the league. But at this level of basketball, you can't always you can't have it your way. That's the one the one thing you won't, you know, unless you're just a major name and you can really move things on your own. The NBA is always going to be the control enforcement in how things work in this NBA spectrum. All right, hold on. We're going to listen in to a little bit more of this video. I, I can't remember if these guys had any additional comments um, about this. Uh, but but like I said, the bet's a bet. We bet. And, and I, I, I actually want to rewind it back because I want to know exactly what we bet. I, I know what DJ was 200. With Rev, it's either 200 or 400. We're going to run it back and find out. Let's run it back a, a few minutes to figure it out. Put your mic where your mouth is. Let's bet two hundred dollars that Lonzo Ball is traded. FYF always comes in with five. All right, he said bet. So DJ says bet two hundred dollars Lonzo is traded. That's that was a bet. All right, let's hear what Rev said. Let's go ahead and hear what Rev said about that. Fire balls. Yep, yep, and, I, and I, I'm I'm riding with DJ, so I double that. Okay, so now Rev says he's riding with DJ. He's gonna double that. So Rev bet four hundred. DJ Raw Uncut Truth bet 200. That's 600 coming my way. My cash app should be blowing up. Am I getting anything? I haven't got anything yet. Maybe I got to send these guys my cash app. Maybe maybe they haven't maybe haven't they haven't been over to FYF Sports enough to know what the cash app is. The cash app, hey, if you're watching this video, the cash app is very easy though. The cash app is FYF Sports. It's not very hard, you know. So, but you know, I'll send you guys the direct link to the cash app, you know, to come collect that, all right? But salute to you guys, man. Again, you, yeah, you know, you just just lost the bet. It ain't nothing. Everybody loses a bet sometimes. You know, we we're just not in the business again. Ethered a lot. Again, you you you. If, if I make a bet with you, you you better know there's. I know something you don't know, because I'm not just running around here making no any random bets. I, I actually do some research into these things. Hold on, let me gonna play this a little bit more, because I want to see the confirmation of my bet. Put your oh money where your mouth is. He getting traded. There's no way you keep him around with all this is going on around him. If you if Lonzo stays with the Pelicans, that's a failure on Rich Paul, which he is reputable. He has a reputation. First of all, y'all. First of all, and again, just to refute that right there, where a player stays and goes is not up to an agent. It's up to the player. If if Lonzo really wanted to get traded, he could have easily done like Aaron Gordon and said trade me he didn't okay so so he's not traded all right he, he's not trade it's not a, the agent is there the agent does more than just handle your NBA contract your, your agent handles all of your off the court endeavors endorsements things of that nature the agent helps obviously to cash out the deals of your contract but the agent doesn't determine where you go or where you want to go uh, the agent's just there to kind of facilitate things and make sure you don't get screwed over and make sure he's going to try to help you get max money in whatever you are looking to do all right you know if a player wants to like when when tim duncan was in san antonio and he wanted to make he he voluntarily took less money there was nothing his agent can do about it his agent couldn't be like no go to orlando and make more money no tim duncan said i want to stay here i'll take less so we can have a winning team the player controls it all. The, the agent just has to facilitate it. 
that's a failure or anyone around Lonzo, he cannot afford to stay with that team. He can't afford to stay with the team. Lonzo actually made a great decision by betting on himself. All right, by turning that contract extension down, the first thing he did was he didn't lock himself into a bad contract. Number two, he bet on himself because he said he knows that he's a $20 million per year player and now he's showing it. So when the offseason hits, you heard all of the potential teams that may be interested in having Lonzo Ball, he's going to get 18 to 21 million dollars per year if not more that's a guarantee and, and and with the nba market as it is now i'm not don't be surprised if it's 22 to 24 million he said it's a bet it's a bet it's up it's up i'll be sending you my cash app directly kind right. sir okay wow I, mean, I like that bet he said bet good my brother good How I wish I, I want to know how. That's why. How? Yeah. How do you not see the Lonzo? I mean, do you really think they would let the narrative be out there right now that there's this many teams that are seriously considering him if they don't have a trade talk in place right now? That's where you're wrong, right there. Teams don't control the chatter in the media. Now, teams can influence the chatter in the media, but teams don't control it. The media, once the media puts a narrative out there and meet in the, and the media has shown itself to put out narratives of its own. All right. This narrative that Lonzo Ball is going to be traded was media driven. That wasn't driven off facts. Now, the, 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 the narrative that John Collins wanted to be traded, that was media driven because the media uh, pushed a, a potential beef between Trey Young and John Collins. The same with Lori Markman. Even though Lori Markman wasn't in high of a demand, his name is not as popular. All these trade talks are all these trade talks are media driven. The trade with Vucevic to the Bulls. How many people? How, how many people knew about that trade before it happened? Zero. It surprised everybody today because what the teams do behind the scenes once it gets serious they don't allow it to leak out they don't allow stuff like that to leak out the same thing with the Aaron Gordon trade there were so many other things everybody was thinking Aaron Gordon might go to the Celtics because it's a good fit but see, Denver was behind the scenes really putting in real work to make the deal happen. But there was no rumors. There was no media coverage on that because when those two sides got together, they closed the doors. There's no media in there to spread to spread rumors about what's really going on. Things like that just don't get leaked out. The Lakers right now, I told you guys, when the Lakers go radio silent, which they have, they always got an ace up their sleeve. They're working on something. Just don't be surprised if the Lakers bring in some players from the buyout market to bolster this roster. I mean, it's not it's not very hard to deduce. All you have to do is just kind of pay attention to the ebbs and flows of how the NBA works. He said, oh, you speak, oh, speaking greasy. He said, bet, lost that 200 in. Bet. Yeah, I'll see that right there. Bet. Let's lock that 200 in. That's that's easy money, y'all. Huh? That's easy money. It's not very hard. Look, going into next year's tr trade deadline, understand the ebbs and flows of how the business of the basketball works. All right. The, hey, the one thing, hey, listening to the media, listening to media chatter cost these brothers six hundred dollars. They gotta figure out how they gonna make pay that bill. Oh man! Now that's not just a two hundred for me. That's it's, that's that's four hundred. That's four hundred. Okay, so I was wrong on that. Is it was not six hundred? It was actually four hundred. So it was two hundred from Revolution Radio, two hundred from DJ. All right, I'll make sure I'll be sending both you brothers my cash out. Um, and if you need a reminder, I can also provide you a snippet of this video. Uh, obviously, I mean if you're watching it now. You, you'll see a snippet of it, but uh, you know, obviously this is a very good reminder of the bet that we made. Hundred bucks. Like YG. 
Four hundred. Believe that. All right, y'all. There you go. Bet was made. Bet was made with DJ Raw Un Uncut Truth and Revolution Radio. Two hundred from each. I mean, it's just a small wager, a very small wager. Um, again, listening to Shock Jocks in the media only costs you guys combined four hundred dollars. That's that's not a very heavy price to pay, but it should be a good learning lesson because you know here at FYL Sports. We love to give these learning principles out. Um, and and I, I wouldn't even really call this a max ether. This was a slight ether. This was just really a learning lesson on make sure you make sure you when you're when you're talking about this NBA game, this NBA spectrum, look at all of this look at all of the forces involved. And and, and all of the forces involved will tell you that a player just simply being unhappy with a team or in his in his role is not enough to generally get you traded it takes a number of forces that have to all align to, to work out a trade your contract situation your your value to other teams you know the team has to make sure they get equal value for you back there are so many forces like you can't just trade a player and you get somebody back it's not a video game it's real it's real life nba basketball so unfortunately for you guys man the business of basketball the business of nba basketball is going to affect your pockets um and positively affect mine to the good four hundred dollars to the positive so i'll be sending you guys on twitter i'll be definitely sending both of you guys my cash app uh lonzo ball did not get traded as i predicted and again they're 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 you know and I, i'm i'm not even pro professing to be right about everything i i actually you know i predicted that jj reddick would potentially end up with the lakers in a buyout and jj reddick was traded to the dallas mavericks today again that was my projection on it but i wasn't going to go out and bet anybody 200 dollars on if jj reddick was signed with the lakers i wasn't locked in on it i you know when, when you're talking about buyouts and things of that nature that's not necessarily something you can really control so again not professing to be right about all of the trade trade moves and things that happened but with lonzo ball that was the one thing that i was a thousand percent confident in and, and it shows right here so again just a lesson to you guys how to eat their people not just eat their people you can also collect a few dollars off of them if you do it the right way hey but it's been a great